All right, back here at home now. Her death has been a mystery for a decade, and today the man accused of killing Caitlin Markham faces a local judge. The local 12's Christian Hauser has new information about the Fairfield woman's former fiance and what's next for him. John Carter entered not guilty pleas to the two murder charges he's facing earlier this afternoon here in Butler County Court. The judge set a million dollar bond for him, all of which must be put up, not 10% like we've seen in other cases. John Carter was walked into the courtroom wearing handcuffs and an orange jumpsuit. Caitlin Markham's father, Dave, and sister, Allie, sat in the front row watching as he was let in. This hearing was for an arraignment and a set bond. But before the judge set that bond, Butler County Prosecutor Mike Moser presented evidence to make his case as to why John Carter should remain locked up. Moser read aloud excerpts from documents he says were written by Carter in which John has a conversation with himself. Deep down, I love her. You want to kill her. But I love her. She must die. I can't kill her. Yes, you can. No. Yes. How do you talk me into all these things? One thing we learned was how Markham was killed. Here Mosier reads once more from the document he says is written by Carter. I slit your wrist with the key to your heart, showing once again the dichotomy, the, the struggle, the demon within, it would be asserted, between the defendant and himself. One voice saying, why? Should I kill you? And the other saying you must. Words to that effect. Paraphrasing, of course, what I just read to the court. He then talked about how the writings indicated that John Carter would bury Caitlin's remains once he killed her. Mosier says when her remains were found in April of 2013 that they had been moved at least once. John Carter is scheduled to be back here in Common Pleas Court next week, and we'll have that hearing covered for you. For now, in Hamilton, I'm Christian Hauser. And you can read more details of this case and the timeline on Local12.com and the Local12 News app. If you don't already have it, just scan the QR code that you see on your screen for a download link.